What if I told you that a single bottle, costing less than 20 bucks, could double your engine's life? Sounds unbelievable, right? But here's the real shocker. While some engine additives are nothing more than expensive snake oil, others have been proven by independent labs, mechanics, and even automakers themselves to actually reduce wear, improve fuel economy, and save you thousands in repairs. And yet, most drivers have no idea which ones work and which are marketing scams. Stick around, because today we're exposing the biggest myths, the hidden truths, and the insider formulas you'll wish you knew years ago. 1. What are engine additives? Really, before we dive into what works, you need to understand what engine additives actually are. In simple terms, an engine additive is any chemical compound you pour into your oil, fuel, or cooling system to improve performance or longevity. Manufacturers claim these products reduce friction, clean internal parts, improve fuel combustion, extend oil life, seal leaks, neutralize acids, but here's the problem. The term additive is so broad that it covers everything from legitimate friction modifiers used by OEMs and factory fill oil to snake oil peddled on late night TV. To complicate things further, modern engine oils already contain sophisticated additive packages blended in by the manufacturer. Adding extra chemicals can disrupt this delicate balance or in some cases enhance it. That's why this topic is so confusing. The line between proven chemistry and marketing hype isn't always clear. But by the end of this video, you'll be able to tell the difference. 2. The most common types of additives and their claims. Let's break down the most popular categories of additives so you know what you're actually buying. A. Friction modifiers. These are designed to reduce friction between moving parts. Popular examples include molybdenum disulfide, zinc dialkyldothiophosphate, ZDDP, and PTFE, commonly marketed as Teflon. Claim, lower friction equals less wear and better fuel economy. B, detergents and dispersants. These additives clean deposits, sludge, and varnish. They suspend contaminants so they don't settle inside your engine. Claim, restore compression, improve performance. C. Viscosity modifiers. These thick and thin oil to prevent leaks or thin thick oil to improve flow in cold starts. Claim. Extend oil life and protect seals. D. Seal conditioners. These swell old seals to prevent leaks. Claim. Fix leaks without disassembly. E. Fuel additives. These clean injectors boost octane or lubricate upper cylinders. Claim. Improve combustion and mileage. F cooling system additives. These improve heat transfer or seal small leaks in the radiator. Claim, lower engine temperature or stop coolant loss. Psychological hook. It's tempting to believe a $10 bottle can replace a $3,000 engine overhaul. That's exactly why so many drivers fall for products that don't work. But here's the truth. Some additives do work when used correctly. Three, friction modifiers. Do they actually reduce wear? Let's start with the most hyped category, friction reducers, the marketing. You've probably seen claims that a certain additive reduces friction by up to 60% or makes metal surfaces frictionless. Companies often use test rigs or dramatic demonstrations like pouring treated oil over metal plates. The science in lab conditions, compounds like molybdenum, disulfide, and ZDDP do reduce friction. That's why many OEM oils already include them in precise concentrations. The problem. Dumping additional friction modifiers into modern engines can upset the balance of detergents and dispersants. For example, overloading ZDDP can damage catalytic converters by increasing phosphorus emissions. That's why newer engines use lower ZDDP oils. When they work, high mileage engines or classic cars that predate catalytic converters can benefit from extra ZDDP. It helps protect flat tappet cams, which are prone to wear under modern oil formulations. Bottom line, friction modifiers aren't a scam, but they're only beneficial when you know your engine's specific needs. 4. Detergents and dispersants, cleaning or clogging. Next up, additives that promise to clean sludge. The marketing. These products claim to dissolve years of carbon and varnish. Some show dramatic before and after engine photos. 
The science of strong detergents like polyethyramines can loosen deposits. That's why fuel system cleaners like Tecron are widely respected. The problem. If your engine has massive sludge buildup, dumping a powerful cleaner can break loose chunks that clog oil passages, starve bearings, and destroy the engine. When they work. If used early and regularly, before sludge forms, detergent additives can help maintain cleanliness. Psychological insight. Drivers love the idea of a miracle flush, but in reality, slow and steady maintenance prevents the need for extreme cleaning. 5. Viscosity modifiers and seal swellers, band-aids or solutions. If you've ever shopped the oil aisle, you've seen bottles promising to stop leaks instantly or reduce oil burning. The marketing. These products thicken the oil and swell rubber seals, so leaks appear to stop. The science of viscosity modifiers do increase oil thickness, improving film strength and slowing leaks. Seal conditioners temporarily soften and expand rubber gaskets. The problem. These are temporary fixes. Once the additive wears off, leaks return. Worse, over thick oil can starve fine clearances in variable valve timing systems. When they work in older engines leaking small amounts of oil, these additives buy time but they won't restore cracked seals or fix major leaks. Pro tip, if you use them, treat them as a stopgap until you can afford proper repairs. Six, fuel additives. Do they boost power and MPG? Let's move to fuel treatments. The marketing fuel additives claim to clean injectors, increase octane, and improve mileage. The science top-tier gasoline already contains detergents, but cars driven mostly on cheap fuel can develop injector deposits. When they work at products containing polyether amine, like Tecron, genuinely clean injectors and intake valves, octane boosters can help if your engine is knocking on regular fuel. The problem. Many cheaper fuel additives contain mostly solvents and carrier fluids with little cleaning power. When to use. If you feel rough, idle, hesitation, or loss of power, and you drive a direct injection engine, fuel additives can be worthwhile. Psychological tip, don't expect a bottle to add horsepower. Their role is maintenance, not magic. Seven, cooling system additives. Do they actually lower temperature? The marketing, drop engine temps by 20 degrees. These claims target drivers who tow, race, or live in hot climates. The science. Some surfactant-based additives, like Redline Water Wetter, reduce coolant surface tension, improving heat transfer. When they work in high load conditions, they can slightly lower temps, but they won't fix a failing water pump, clogged radiator, or blown head gasket. The problem additives that claim to stop leaks often contain particles that can clog heater cores or sensors. When to use heat transfer additives are helpful for performance engines. Stop leak products should be last resort measures. Eight, the biggest scams, what to avoid at all costs. A Teflon based oil additives. They claim to coat metal surfaces with a friction proof film. In practice, PTFE particles can settle in oil passages and filters, starving critical components. B. Magnet oil treatments. Magnets attached to your oil filter or fuel line do nothing. They're purely decorative. C. Nanoparticle. Additives. Claims of miraculous friction reduction are rarely supported by credible testing. Pro tip. If a product promises to transform your engine with no trade-offs and costs less than a meal, it's probably a scam. 9. What automakers and mechanics say OEM position Almost every manufacturer advises against aftermarket additives. They design oils with carefully balanced chemistry. ASE certified mechanics Most professionals only recommend Fuel cleaners for direct injection ZDDP boosters for classic cars Viscosity stabilizers for severe oil consumption Your owner's manual Always consult it before adding anything. Using the wrong additive can void warranties. Psychological reminder, no bottle replaces regular maintenance. 10. When additives are worth it. A high mileage engines. Extra detergents or viscosity stabilizers can help extend life. B. Performance applications. 
Heat transfer additives and octane boosters have proven benefits. C. Neglected engines. Careful use of cleaners, combined with gradual oil changes, can restore performance. 11. How to choose wisely. Checklist. Look for data sheets and ASTM testing. Verify OEM approvals or endorsements. Read independent lab results. Avoid vague claims without specifics. Pro tip. If in doubt, skip it. Modern engines last longer with quality oil and timely service than they ever did with a magic potion. 12. The cost of believing the hype. Mechanics see it every day. Engines ruined because owners relied on additives instead of repairs. A $10 bottle doesn't fix worn bearings, burned valves, or cracked rings. Story example. A customer poured stop leak into a BMW with a bad head gasket. It clogged the heater core and killed the water pump. Final bill, $4,200. Lesson E, use additives as part of a plan, not a replacement for real fixes. 13. What actually extends engine life? Use the right oil grade. Change oil at manufacturer intervals. Drive moderately until the engine warms up. Fix leaks promptly. Maintain cooling systems. Use additives only when appropriate. Your car isn't a magic trick. It's a machine that rewards care, not shortcuts. Now you know the truth. Some additives do work, but many are marketing myths. If you're serious about saving your engine and your money, stick to proven solutions, real maintenance, and science-backed products. Which additive have you tried, and did it work? Share your story in the comments below. If you learned something today, smash that like button and subscribe for more mechanic-level knowledge that keeps your car running like new. Stay smart, drive safe, and don't fall for the hype.